This is another video brought to you by The Ichiban Productions Like, comment, subscribe So welcome everyone, happy days are here again We're back with another tech review This time we're looking at a USB-C hub by Anchor so this is the 11-in-1 Series 5's USB-C hub. I bought it to go with the Steam Deck and hopefully give it some of the functionality it needs. Um, it's got everything you need in it. HDMI, DisplayPort, SD card, micro SD card, uh, Ethernet, which I thought was really important, as well as loads of USB-A um, ports. Still, I think it's also got an audio port. I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, let's take a look at the box and then let's crack it open and see what's inside. So this hub wasn't cheap, it was $89.99, it did have 20% off and it did have a voucher, but that's quite steep for a USB-C hub. But then again, I suppose you're paying for the brand and you know that it's going to work. The biggest thing here I know with a lot of the Steam Deck stuff is uh, getting the HDMI output to work, so we'll have to plug it in and see. But anyway, it's a typical, um, you know, it's the typical anchor stuff, you know, with the, the embossed sort of design, which I always really like. It's the 11 in 1 there, you can see the details on the side. It's very, very standard. So I guess all we got to do is open it up. Let's see what it's like. Boom, cheeky cut. I have cut the seal so we can open it a lot easier. And I say that every time. So we open it up, we've got ourselves a little pull tab, which I always thinks useful. I'm going to open it upside down because I always do. And there we go. There is the hub and the instructions. Ooh, nice. Nice. Let's take a look at the instructions first. Of course, this is a 100 watt PD uh, hub. So, hopefully, this will give a bit more detail. So, that's what it is. I open it up. So, we've got ourselves the details of exactly what each of the inputs are. And then, corresponding stuff. Pause it and read it if you're interested in that. But, you know, readings for prisoners. So, hopefully, we can just figure that out ourselves. Moving on to the hub itself. So the hub seemed to be made of a good quality, I think it's like, is it plastic, is it metal? Well, it could be either, but it's a good quality covering whatever it is. On the side we've got ourselves two, uh, I think there's a USB 2.0 port, we've got USB 3.0, and we've got ourselves a USB-C, again, using for high power. They're 3.0, I think 3.1, if you get the upgraded version, you get slightly better USB ports on this. Then on the side we've got the uh, power delivery input, it's 100 uh, watts. Which is what it can take here and then we've got the micro usb uh, usb c and we've got the, uh, the 1.4 display port and then we've got uh is it 2.0 but anyway it's 4k 60 hertz which is really important if you're into that sort of thing overall i think that's pretty good quality it's a nice braided cable so it's got a bit of flex in it without breaking uh, i like that a lot but if you've been seeing my channel for a while you're going to know what i'm most interested in it's the cheeky case one of my favorite things about anchor products is they always give you a case now i'm glad to see they got rid of the uh, black sort of uh, mesh sort of thing and this is a nice it's kind of velvety uh it's nice no drawstring though so you know is it going to fall out we've got a dual no not dual lined either it's just single line so hopefully you know you just put it in there and not have to worry about it does it fit yep yeah, fits in nicely the ends exposed ever so slightly my goodness i totally forgot about the end port we've got um it's a gigabit ethernet port and we've got the 3.5 mil jack of course and there we go so there you go you can go in the bag not get scratched not get damaged a bit disappointed that it's not drawstring because that stuff is going to fall out but overall i'm fairly impressed with the build quality now the proof is in the pudding we're gonna need to plug it in and give it a go so i'm gonna leave the video here I'm going to introduce the Steam Deck in and we're going to see, does it work as expected? Stick around and find out. And I'm back, like I said, I'll be back. So I've used this hub a couple of times and I've had a lot of successes with it. And a couple of little quirks that I think I'm going to talk you through. Just stick around, let me show you in action, let me show you what works. And uh, yeah, what are some of the quirks? First things first, let's plug it in. So you don't need any additional software to get this bad boy running. Uh, the Steam OS does this for you. So just plug it in the USB-C at the top and click. There it is, it's in. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, there you go. So the white light is lit to show that it's being powered. Now currently the hub is being powered by the Steam Deck. That's not necessarily ideal. Um, obviously it's an additional drain on this, but what you can do with this particular um, hub is you can put a power in. So there's a power in that side, PD, and that, whoop, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there you go, PD. Um, the Steam Deck takes 
45 watts or can charge up to 45 watts so ideally you want something on top of that i've read online that that takes about 15 watts so you're going to look at some about 60. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in a USB C charger into this to make sure that this is being charged whilst it's being powered so it doesn't affect the steam deck in any way so I know some of you will be asking what am I using to do this. I'm using a Anker USB-C to USB-C cable. It's braided. I love this. Super high quality. I think this is a 3 meter one. So you've got enough uh, length on it to, to use it. A 100 watt max uh, power charge from this as well. It's a really nice cable. Um, link it in the description below if you want to buy it. And I'm using an Anker charger of course. Now this came with my um, portable power bank which I will show you in another review. But it's up to 60 watts which should be fine. 45, 15, 60 we're all good let's plug it in just to clarify the hub doesn't need to be powered externally by a power source it will take its power from the steam deck but if you don't want that you can just plug in external power here and then hopefully we can see the steam deck is now well it's claiming it's full charge i mean i don't know about that claiming it's full but it was 90 something, something percent unless it's got instant mega charge but there we go hubs fully powered ready to go let me show you working with a few things so don't worry, I've just swapped to the uh, desktop mode. So first thing, let's show you working with the Logitech uh, MX Master Mouse. Now, of course, these have got Bluetooth, so you're more than welcome to connect it uh, directly via Bluetooth. But what you can do is you can use the, the hub. Again, no installation needed. One of the things on the Anchor um, Power Hub, if you look carefully, mouse, keyboard. I mean, you can plug whatever you want, but let's uh, stick the mouse into the mouse here. Put it in, and then... No installation required, boom. Look, the mouse is working. I don't know if you can see that, maybe. Let's move it over here. Yep, see, the mouse is working absolutely fine. What a great accessory. No installation needed, boom, done. Let me show you something else. So what are we going for next? We got ourselves an Xbox uh, <laughs> Elite Series 1 controller, not Series 2. Uh, the first one doesn't have Bluetooth. There is no way to connect it via Bluetooth. But if we cable this up, it should work. Let me show you. So we got the uh, original USB-A uh, to micro USB cable that came with it. So let's plug this in. Anyone will do, but I'm going to do it in the uh, high speed one for maximum transfer rate. And then plugging that one into the top. And oops, get it all the way around. Vibrates. It's charging as well, which I think is really good. And then, as you can see, it does work. There we go. Click, click, click. And I can confirm it does work in games as well. You might need to map it, but let me show you it working with. Uh, yeah, let me show you working with the game. So here we go. We've got a bit of Yakuza Zero. Um little bit dark because it's night time I've got the brightness turned down but here we go yep all working with the controller as you'd expect and uh, you know works flawlessly no problems or issues I mean I mean the one annoying thing I'm finding at the moment is I've got cables going everywhere but if you are going for the cabled option yep it works no problem so let me show you something else next up uh, I'm going to show you that the stereo um, 3 mil jack at the end does work. So here we go, we've got sound cores. I mean, I have reviewed these, they should be appearing up here somewhere. But yeah, if you take them, um, first of all, if I show you the volume just naturally with nothing plugged in, you can see it's just the normal volume of the console there. However, you plug this one into the, uh, the, the dock, and then there's a noise. And then if you have a look now, so you want to do that it's coming through the USB audio so it does work I mean I, I hold this up to the mic I don't know if you can hear it is it loud enough I don't know but yes it does work so again another successful a test proven next thing to show you is that hub connecting a Steam Deck up to a TV a portable monitor and an actual PC monitor so what we're going to use to use this of course the anchor uh, hub itself and then we've got this really nice braided it's an 8k compatible E e oh no it's uh, an amazon brand apparently got really good reviews three meters again linked in the description below so let's plug it into the hub and let's plug it into the first screen boom cheeky cut we've had to do some outrageous gorilla filming here and some jiggery pokery to get this working so uh again i'll pop a link up uh, somewhere up here for this product it's a portable screen um i reviewed it before i think it's really good quality anyway so i've had to scrap the idea of using that hdmi cable i'm going to use the one that's built in with the portable screen on the basis that i couldn't get the other one to fit in because it was too crazy too close anyway so we've got the hub hooked up 
We've got the power going into the hub here. That is a USB C, uh, sorry, USB A that's charging or powering the screen. So let's plug this in. Uh, HDMI goes into the HDMI over here. Oh my goodness! Look at the, look at the twisting and the poking. Oh, will it fit in? And there we go. It's plugged in, and da, 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 da. <laughs> there we go. And just to show that it does work, actually the colours are pretty good on this screen. I was always a big fan of this screen, to be honest with you, and look at it working perfectly. Um, clearly, if you're going to set this up for yourself, you're going to need a better uh, idea of how you're going to get this to fit in. But, proving the pudding, it does work. Boom, cheeky cut. We've moved over to my uh, PC desktop. I've got a triple screen set up. This is my Asus monitor. Um, I don't use this one particularly for gaming, but it's there anyway. So it was probably well, why we're using this one, basically because it's the easiest one to get to. So I plugged one end of the uh, HDMI cable in already. So all I need to do is plug this into the hub, like so. You won't be able to see this, I'm sure. But honestly, I tell you one thing I have noticed whilst doing this is I am so glad we live in like a wireless age because the cables coming out and around my office at the moment is madness. Anyway, it's plugged in. Boom, there it is. Uh, one thing I will say, I was very impressed by the resolution and the richness of the colours, both on the portable screen and on the desktop uh, PC monitor. Really, really good. It's very, very seamless. As you can see, it works a treat. I would probably say, well, you can control it using the Steam Deck. I'd probably plug in a Bluetooth controller, maybe an 8-bit do or something like that. Yeah, actually, I think I'll, I'll do a review of all the gimmicks that I'm using with the Steam Deck one day. But at the moment, it's working perfectly. One last thing to show you is show you working on a TV. Before we, uh, we move this whole setup around the house to get it plugged into a TV, I did want to check one thing. I wonder if I remove the power from the anchor dock, what would happen to the, the screen? <laughs> Boom, it did not like that. So I think to get the output resolution to... Oh, oh. It's gone off on the screen. No way. And there's me giving up hope. So I have removed the power um, from the anchor uh, dock. So it looks like it still works even when there's no power. I can't imagine that's going to be good for the battery. But yeah, in theory, it does actually work. Nice. <laughs> So I've moved down to the limb room, uh, hopefully you can hear the difference as I'm not using the microphone, I'm using the microphone in the iPad so you can tell the sound difference. I just couldn't be bothered to move it down with all those cables and things. But anyway, there we go. The Steam Deck does work from the Anchor Dock into 75 inch LG. I know there's been some issues with LG TVs and the connectivity with the hub, but it seems all resolved. It works an absolute treat. <sighs> Exhausted, let's crack on. Boom, cheeky cut, we're in another room of the house. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a wire connection using the USB-C hub. So just to uh, to clarify, this is a Category 8 cable, it's EONO again. I really love the braided nature of it. I also like how if you bend it, it kind of stays in position. I really like that. So one end is in the internet, um, directly into the hub. So there's no switches or anything in between it, so it's directly in. I should get about uh, a gigabyte, about 1,000 meg. In reality, it's about 900 meg. But what I want to do is I want to show you a quirk. There's something really weird that happens when downloading through an Ethernet cable. Um, so step one, let's plug it in and just, uh, just show you how it connects. Click. And then hopefully we should see up there, it's trying to gain an internet connection and boom, there you go, it's got a wire connection now. So, what happens is, is when I download something from this, I get maximum speed to start with. So it goes up and it has a fast download speed and then what happens is it progressively slows down slower and slower until it's exactly the same speed as the uh, Wi-Fi. It's a weird quirk. I don't know. I've seen some videos online that say it's exactly the same thing, but I'm going to show you guys that it. And to clarify, it's nothing to do with the SD card that I'm using to record it onto, because the read-write speed of the SD card is enough to be able to uh, sustain that speed. So let's download something and show you what happens. So we've got No Man's Sky update, 6.9 gig. It should be enough to show you that it doesn't happen over instantly. Just to show you the end of the port, you can see the green to show it's got a connection and orange that it's receiving data. Um, so let's click No Man's Sky to download. Let's click. There we go. So let's watch the speed up in the top corner. Is it going to do it now? I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. It should be yeah closer to that. So that's about the max speed we should get for this. And then... It's not doing it now. 
And I'm going to look like a right old mug. Right old mug. Oh, is it doing it now? Yes, no, I spoke too soon. Of course it is. Look at the speed dropping now. So you get a really fast speed to start with, and then it drops down to about 25, which is what we get on the Wi-Fi. Really strange. Really, really strange. If you've got any idea what's going on, please post it in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to hear what's going on, because really, I should be expecting those top speeds um, consistently. But down, down, down it goes. I ain't going to make you watch the download for all this time, but it's really weird quick. I don't know what's going on. I've seen other people talk about this online. I don't know. Answers in the comments if you've got any idea. But there you go. It does function wire, uh, as a wired connection. You do get good speeds, but it just doesn't seem to sustain for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Boom, and we're back where we started. So, fair play if you stuck with the video for this long. I think the last thing to do is put a star rating on this hub. Is it worth the money? Well, let's get the star rating done first. In terms of functionality, build quality and price, I'm going to give this about 4 stars out of 5 stars. So the build quality is great, the functionality is excellent. You know, if you're looking to put your uh, Steam Deck on a TV or a monitor, you're going to need something with a HDMI out. Um, overall, I'm very, very impressed. I think the Ethernet issue isn't alone with this Anchor one. It's to do with a lot of USB-C hubs from what I've seen in general. Whatever deducted a mark, well, the cheeky price of $89.99. I mean, I paid $71.99 with the discount. And I still think, unfortunately, I think that's a little bit expensive. Especially as I think you could probably find Anchor ports a little bit cheaper that will do the same sort of thing. The biggest thing that made this more expensive was it had the, um, the display port out, which is over here. It's got the micro USB and, and an SD card port. Now, they're not compatible with this Steam Deck. I think I've seen it online that you can get them working, but it's not like you think it would be, and I don't think it's worth the issue. The head port, uh, headphone output's good, but overall, I think you can do the same thing for cheaper. Since recording this, also Steam have announced that they're shipping their, <laughs> their Steam Deck dock, which I think does the same thing. It's, uh, what do I say? I think it's like 70 quid, something like that. It's the same sort of price, but it does come with the actual physical stand, which is something that I am sorely missing. So I will review that when that's arrived. Overall, am I going to keep this or send it back to Amazon? I don't know. We're going to have to see what the official Steam Deck one's like. So if you enjoyed this monster video, give it a cheeky thumbs up, which means more people can see it. If you've got any questions or comments, I don't think I'll have answered everything, but post them in the comment section below. I reply to each and every comment. It means the world that you're engaging with my content, so I will 100% reply. If you found the uh, video useful in any way, please press that subscribe button. It will mean the absolute world to me. I am on the journey to a thousand, so I'll get some of that sweet YouTube money. <laughs> Although, it seems like it's a long way away. But really, why do I do this? I just want to inform people so they can make informed choices so they don't waste their money. Times are hard as it is without wasting it on cheap tut. This is definitely not cheap tut. It is expensive, but it does its job. With that in mind, you know what I'm going to say, look after yourselves, take care of the people around you, and most importantly, stay out of trouble.